Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, subscribe. Welcome back, my darlings. Thank you so much for coming back to me. I appreciate every single one of you, and I thank you for being part of the Honey family. We're going to take a look at a song that I was told was trending, and they wanted to get my take on the lyrics. As you know, a lot of times when I listen to the songs, I always go back and read the lyrics to you guys so that we can analyze what information this person is trying to go. This um, patron of mine decided it's like, listen, you have to hear it. Um, it's a beautiful song and it's, it sends a strong message. I just want to see what you're able to glean from it. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you for um, sending it to me. The title of this song is Rich Men of Rich Men North of Richmond, and it's by Oliver Anthony. First time listening. It sounds like it's a story. You know what I mean? I feel like it's going to have that story vibe. I love titles like this, Rich Men North of Richmond. It's like, it builds, it builds a lot of, the title itself builds a lot of imagination for me. All right, play. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men, north the rich men, Lord knows it all. Just want to have total control. Want to know what you think. Want to know what you do. And they don't think you know. But I know that you do. Because your dollar ain't shit. And it's tax to no end. Those are rich. Politicians look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the whole beast milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground, cause all this country does is keep on kicking them down lord it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me for people like you wish i could just wake up and it not be true but it is you do and they don't think you know but i know that you do because your dollar ain't shit and it's taxed to no hen calls the rich men north of rich men Selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay. Song has made me cry in a while. <laughs> wow. Uh, where do I start? Beautiful voice. 
Um, I don't, I've never seen a guitar like that. That looks very beautiful. I've never heard of this man before. I don't know him, his music. So this is my first time listening to him. Um, I love country songs, you know, they give you the best vibes. The first, 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 my first introduction to any kind of country song was Dolly Parton's Coat of Many Colors. And I, I know she's like a homework at that play, but when I grew up in Nigeria, her songs were played all the time, especially Coat of Many Colors. Um, country songs always, it must be the guitar or, sorry, I know I, I've, I'm going to try speaking louder. Um, it must be the guitar because this, that is my favorite instrument. And when a person is singing and they just sing with a guitar and they're telling you a beautiful story, it really does touch your heart. I, the strings do something to me and it just makes me very happy um off the bat without even reading the lyrics you can tell that he's talking about the decline in the economy he he he's obviously coming from a place where he knew that the dollar had value and could provide more for the average american and now it's like people can't even afford to be healthy to have normal lives to have accommodation he talks about someone on the street you know, and I don't know if he's had, because, you know, a lot of these amazing musicians sing from a place of experience. But the way he 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 really cried out, the, you could hear the frustration in his voice. You could hear the anger. You could hear the the helplessness. You could hear it. And it just, you know, you know, when you're chest just the empathy it makes you go like you because he, he's not even speaking i know I'm, i speak so fast when i'm overwhelmed he's not even speaking it's just himself it wasn't him he said you know you know that these things are happening but it just seems like nobody is able to fix it right so let's go through the lyrics and says, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away, probably in any way, in tears and alcohol, drown his troubles away, just forget about how useless and unfulfilling his day was. It's a damn shame that that shame what the world's gotten to for people like me and people like you wish i could wake up and it's not to be true but it is oh it is living in a new world with an old soul that's living in this t at this time when you know that you're not meant for you know sometimes you feel like i'm not meant for this time like you feel out of place you're not asking for too much. He's not this person. The the the, the storyline isn't asking to be a, live in a mansion, but just living in a time where there was common sense, where the price of bread wouldn't make you gasp. Do you understand? With an old soul, these rich men north of Richmond, Lord knows, I don't know where. So, but I think he's just talking about those who are able to, the government, those who are the ones in charge of making things right and who are not doing that. These rich men north of Richmond, this rich men north of Richmond, Lord knows they all just want to have control, want to know what you think, want to know what you do. And they don't think you know, but I know that you do because your dollar ain't and it's taxed to no end because the rich is the government. Who else is setting the taxes? Who? Who? Who else? It's them. I wish politicians would look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere. You know what that means? He says, I wish politicians would look out for the working class people and not just be distracted. And it's not a distraction per se. I don't want to use that word. But you know how sometimes they're concerned as to what's going on in other countries. Oh, let's go save these people over here. Oh, let's go help them because they don't want to promote our, the rights that will concern us. Let's go do this. And on your own, 
Michigan doesn't have water. This place doesn't have this. This you, they're kidnapping children within your own borders. Your bo you, nothing, nothing is in order, and you're distracted. Oh, let's go save. Let's go, Mister Save a lot to other people. Meanwhile, your own children are dying. That's what he's saying. Lord, we got folks in the street that don't have anything to eat, and the obese milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. He's addressing that issue. You know how people always use, what do you call it? Because I've heard of it, coupons and maybe they say they don't, have, they, they don't want to work or they can't work. I don't know. I was watching this show, 600 pounds something, and these people don't work. And I keep wondering, who's bringing food to your door? You sit home all day and you're eating. Who is bringing, can't they just bring you vegetables? Like what, who is feeding this? Who gave you the audacity to be 300 pounds or 400 or 600? Someone, and they give them an allowance, I hear. I've watched those shows, they get government allowance. I'm like, government, you're giving these people money. Why don't you give them a treadmill? And also even, even, uh, that you see all these things suggestions that i'm making to make them better what i'm what is going to be the government paying for it and that's what he's saying we're paying for people who don't even consider their own welfare or their own well-being our taxes are going to provide all this i don't mean to be rude but there are some women who are getting pregnant and not paying because they know the government is giving them allowance that thing kills me let me not talk it's in america let me not talk because that I listen. When I hear <laughs> young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground because of this damn country, does is keep on kicking them down. Lord, it's a damn shame what this world has gotten to for people like me and for people like you. Wish I could wake up and it's not and it not be true, but it is. Living in a new world with an old soul, these rich men north of Richmond. Lord knows they all want to have total control, want to know what you think, want to know what you do. And they think you don't know, but I know that you do because your dollar ain't and tax to no end because of them. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours, BSP. On to the next.